What's up creative minds? I am Sir Angel and this is your Foodie Chef. I'm very excited today because I've got over 100 subscribers now. I'm nearing 200 subscribers and I must say a big thank you to you guys. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for staying subscribed. And finally, thank you very much for sharing my videos so others could find me out and subscribe to your Foodie Chef. I promise you guys every weekend I'm dropping great content. Now today we're doing teeth whitening. I'm going to show you the best way to whiten teeth in Photoshop in the most natural way possible. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to use the action I've provided down in the description below and maximize your workflow and speed your workflow and all that. Without wasting much of your time, let's jump into Photoshop. Let me show you what I mean. And if you like this video well enough, be sure to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button and share this video so others could find me out and, you know, stay subscribed as well. Let's jump into Photoshop. Let me show you what I mean. All right, guys, welcome to Photoshop. And I've got images fired up already as usual. I'm going to be using this image right here. Make sure you select your topmost layer. Go to your adjustment layers and then hue saturation. Now we know the teeth is mostly yellow in it. So select your yellows, decrease the saturation to minus 80. Take the lightness up to 40. Go to the reds, decrease the saturation of the reds to minus 20. All right. After that, select the layer mask there, command I, control I on PC. Select the brush to shortcut is B. Make sure the brush is set to white. Make sure the hardness is pushed all the way down to zero and then brush on the teeth just brush on it all right take your time and brush it well yeah select the right size the correct size brush and then brush it well and keep brushing and keep brushing and keep brushing and keep brushing this is just a a rough a rough thingy you know but take your time and brush it well when you're doing it and that's your before and that's your after that's your before and that's your after i'm even going to take it a step further by going to brightness and contrast and i'm going to increase the brightness to about 40. i'm going to hold option and i'm going to click in between over here and it's going to make sure the brightness is only affecting the hue saturation layer and if the brightness is too much, I can always decrease the opacity of that layer. Let's decrease it to about 40%. And I'll group everything together. And that's your before and that's your after. That's your before, that's your after. That's it, guys. And keeping it as natural as possible. If you think it's too much, you can just go ahead and decrease the opacity here. Yeah? Or you can just use the numbers on your alphanumeric keyboard. So. Make sure your move tool is selected and every number you're going to press is going to represent a percentage. So for instance, if I press six, it means 60% right there, 60%. If I press one, that's 10%. So I'm going to take it to about 70%, say 80%, 90%. For this picture, I'll keep it about 90%. I think it's fine. If I zoom out, that's it before after before after that's great you can apply the same technique on the eyes even though i will advise when you're doing it on eyes do it separately do it on a separate layer so if you want to do it on eyes i can just duplicate this group here yeah and name this eyes rename this to teeth yeah go to the eyes delete this layer mask right here create another one Co command or control i to invert it and i'm going to select my brush make sure the hardness is pulled all the way to zero and i'm going to brush on it brush on the eyes brush on it brush on it now if you realize um over here it is not really affecting it so something like that you can just go here and then decrease the saturation of the reds a bit more 
so you think it's okay but the figures i gave you at first works best for most pictures in most cases so yeah that's it your before after before after all right guys that's it that's how you whiten teeth and eyes in photoshop and keep it as natural as possible don't forget to decrease your opacity if you think it's too much keep it as natural as possible remember subtlety is key now i can end here the video is over you've learned how to whiten teeth and eyes in photoshop but if you stick with me i'm going to show you how to use the photoshop action i've provided down in the link below welcome to the part two of this video this is where i show you how to use the photoshop action i've provided down in the description for free so download and install the action and it is right here ypc teeth whitening so just click that for me make sure you select the topmost layer and then run the action this is what you get select a brush make sure hardness is set all the way down to zero zoom in on your picture and brush on the teeth select a suitable size though brush on the teeth like so right try and do well try to not brush on the gums yeah all right all right so that is that and after doing this you come here you can see brighten smile so if you want to add some brightness to the smile the opacity is set all the way to zero by default so you just go ahead and crank it up crank it up so you feel it's fine so for this picture i'm going to leave it about 30 percent and yeah it looks good now if the effect is not strong enough you could always go to your reds and decrease it a little bit but i suggest you don't touch it leave it like so and before after before after that's looking great if you think the effect is not strong enough you can always duplicate this layer right here and then decrease the opacity instead of going in to adjust the layers do you get what i mean you think the effect is not strong enough just duplicate it and then decrease the opacity that way if you think it is too strong go ahead and decrease the opacity of the group and i mean decrease it to how you like it and i also suggest strongly that you create separate ones for the eyes and create separate ones for the teeth as well because sometimes the eyes and the teeth i mean not the same color is it yeah so you might want to create different different groups for them you've got the action there so what stops you just click the action run it twice select your brush brush on the eyes brush on the teeth quick tip for you when you're doing the eyes you can take your time and remove some capillaries from the eyes yeah if you want to perfect it now i've not perfected this picture but i've definitely deleted some capillaries and you know some things from the eye as you can see yeah that's it that's how you whiten eyes and teeth in photoshop the correct way while still keeping it as natural as possible if you like this video well enough hit the like button smash the subscribe button and be part of this community and if you don't like this video at all please smash the subscribe button as well because next week's video might be for you leave a comment down in the comment section below if you've got any questions for me stay tuned i'll see you next week check out my instagram at i am serenjo check out my website at www.serenjophotography.com remember i am serenjo and this is your foodie chef stay creative and keep smiling. See you in the next video. Peace.